Hello viewers, I welcome you all in my new lecture where we will study about the inversion of a linked list. We have already studied what is the linked list and now how it can be inverted. Meaning of inversion is that the head becomes tail and the tail becomes head and every node which is connected to the forward node now connected to the backward node. Let us see. After inverting a linked list, its head becomes tail and tail becomes head. For example, this is the input list where there are four nodes. Node number one, which is the head node and its address is handed. The second node, which is connected to the first node because the address of the second node is, is stored in the next field of the first node. Similarly, address of the third node is stored in the uh, next field of second node and so on. So uh, the node which contains the value null in its next field will be definitely the tail node. So there are four nodes, head node and tail node and other two intermediate nodes. Now it can also be shown in picture form as this one. If 200 is stored here, it means this node is connected with the second node. If 400 is stored here, which is the address of the next node, it means the second node is connected to the third node and so on. In last, the value null means it is it points nowhere. Or we can say that it is the last node or tail node. Now after inversion, we get like the output list. The tail becomes head, head becomes tail because uh, this node is connected and every node is connected with the backward node. For example, the last node is connected to the second last node. Second last node, which is second last in means second last in the input list is now connected to the third last and third last node is now connected to the last node and last is connected to the null means it is connected to nowhere no any node so there are two changes head becomes null null becomes uh, head and the forward connection is converted into the backward connection so after viewing this diagram we can see that uh, the there are uh, uh, three pointers we have to take three pointers so that one pointer is pointed to the head node and one pointer is pointed to the null value so that we can connect head node to the null node now uh, there is another pointer that is pointed at, at the node uh, second number node because when we move in forward direction this third uh, pointer will help us how it will help us let us see in uh, further few slides so this is the summary of the procedure. Step one, declare three pointers A, B and C of node type and initialize them as A is equal to null, B is equal to uh, address of the head node and C is equal to address of the next pointer. Means A is pointing to null, B is pointing at this node and C is pointing to the second node. Now store the address uh, in pointer A to the next field of a node where the pointer B points and move every pointer to its next location until pointer B becomes null. Our criteria is that we move in forward direction uh, until B becomes not null. When B becomes null, we stop our processing. Uh, because there are three pointers A, B and C and C is the forward pointer. So the chances of become null while moving in forward direction uh, is more for pointer C. यानी कि सबसे पहले जो पॉइंटर नल होगा वो सी पॉइंटर होगा उसके बाद बी पॉइंटर होगा फिर ए पॉइंटर होगा क्योंकि तीनों की लोकेशन ऐसी है सबसे पीछे ए चल रहा है उसके बीच में बी है और सबसे आगे सी चल रहा है तो अगर नल फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन में मूव करते समय कोई पॉइंटर नल होगा तो सबसे पहले सी पॉइंटर के नल होने के चांसेस होंगे इसलिए हम एक चेक पॉइंट लगाएंगे कि सी को तभी मूव करेंगे सी पॉइंटर को फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन में तभी मूव करेंगे कि अगर वो नल नहीं है अगर वो ऑलरेडी नल है देन there is no need to move the pointer C and we stop our processing only when the B becomes null means when C becomes null and then B becomes null then we stop our processing and in this case you can visualize that A pointer points to the last node since we have to make the last node as a head node therefore we just pass the address of the head node uh, so, so sorry we pass address of the pointer A to the head node so that head points to the last node and we uh, since the last node last node we had the next field null therefore it becomes the tail node 
so this is the step 3 where we declare the pointer as the address of the new head node now you can uh, get better understanding in the next few slides for example let us take there is our four node a list uh, this is a linked list which contains the four nodes head node tail node and we have not taken any value on these node because it doesn't matter what uh, uh, whatever the be the value it can be any value so main thing is that we have to connected in backward direction and uh, head becomes tail and tail becomes head so first of all we take three pointers it means we execute a step 1 pointer a which is null pointer b which points on the head node and pointer c which points on the next of the head node means second node now we connect the pointer b to the pointer a so that a is connected to the null value means it become we have to make this node this first node as the last node and we know that the last node contains a value null in its next field therefore in place of 200 we have to store the value null so we uh, we execute like b arrow next is equal to a so null value uh, 200 is replaced with a null value null means this node is connected to the node uh, pointer a now after backward connection we move one step for in forward direction means uh, c is moved to the this node third node b is moved to the second node and a move to the first node yani ki jahan b abhi hai wahan a aa jayega jahan c abhi hai wahan b aa jayega aur c ek step aage badh jayega isliye maine aapko bataya tha ki sabse pehle agar koi pointer ke null hone ke chances honge agar forward direction move karte hain to wo pointer c hoga kyunki is direction mein null value aa rahi hai now we move forward direction कैसे मूव करेंगे B की वैल्यू को अगर A में सेव करा देंगे तो A B की जगह पॉइंट करेगा और C की वैल्यू B में सेव करा देंगे तो B C के प्लेस पर आ जाएगा और C को C एरो नेक्स्ट की हेल्प से हम फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन में मूव कर देंगे देखिए आप A इज इक्वल टू बी एग्जीक्यूट हुआ तो ये पॉइंटर इधर आ गया A मूव करके यहाँ आ गया और हेन बी बी इज इक्वल टू सी एग्जीक्यूट देन बी पॉइंटर मूव टू दिस नोड एंड वेन सी इज बिकम सी एरो नेक्स्ट मीन्स दिस पॉइंटर जम्प टू द नेक्स्ट नोड when we move one step for in forward direction again connect b to the reverse node means to the previous node so that it can be reversely connected for example we again we execute the step b arrow next is equal to a means b ki b jahan bhi point kar raha hai uski next field mein ab iska address hoga jahan a point kar raha hai yani ki yahan par 400 ki jagah kya store karna hai 100 store karna hai kaise execute kiya humne 400 li 400 को चेंज करना है हमने रेड मार्क कर दिया इसको 100 में चेंज कर दिया अब जैसे 100 में ये देखिए आप 100 जैसे ही वैल्यू आई तो पहले यहाँ 400 था तो इससे कनेक्टेड था अब जब यहाँ पर 100 स्टोर करेंगे तो ये कनेक्शन ब्रेक हो जाएगा और ये किसके साथ जुड़ जाएगा ये रिवर्स डायरेक्शन में एड हो जाएगा नाउ वी अगेन मूव वन स्टेप इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन एक्वल टू बी मीन्स ए जम्प्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट नोट टू द सेकेंड नोट लाइक दैट and when b equal to c executes b moves to the uh, node where c points that is in this way and then c becomes c arrow next means c moves to the next node means c moves to the node whose address is 250 when we move again we connect in reverse direction means b arrow next is equal to a means 250 250 this value will replace with the value 200 like that 250 it becomes 200 as soon as it, it becomes 200 this connection breaks and this this connection uh, connects to the previous node now again we move in forward direction b is equal to a means a jumps to the location where b points b equal to c means b again jumps to the location where c points and c is equal to c arrow next means c moves to the next location since the uh, next location is null therefore b c the node uh, c pointer becomes now null means in further iterations we cannot move c pointer because it is already null so we again connect b to the previous node similarly as we have done for previous three nodes it contains the value 400 and as soon as it contains 400 it connects the previous node and now again moves one step ahead a equal to b means a moves to the b location b equal to c means the address of c is transferred to b means c is already null therefore b becomes also null and now 
uh, we uh, the, now the chance of execution c is equal to c rol x but since c is not uh, c is null therefore it uh, this pointer cannot move it, it does not execute because c is already null therefore uh, c becomes null and b becomes null we know that as soon as b becomes null we have to stop our processing and the address of a is transferred to the head node as soon as we transfer the address of a to the head node means head moves to the uh, uh, node where a points means a and head points to the same node now this is the condition and we can see that our list is totally inverted we can this the node which is uh, initially the tail node now becomes the head node and the node which initially was the head node now becomes the tail node and all the nodes are connected in place of forward direction to the backward direction sare jo forward connected the ab dekhiye sare apne pehle wale node se connected ho gaye hain yani ki agar hum ab is list ko print karayenge suppose kari is is par value save hoti 1 2 3 and 4 to initially agar hum print karate to 1 2 3 4 print hota lekin ab humne link list ko invert kar diya hai तो वैल्यू हमेशा हेड नोट से प्रिंट होनी स्टार्ट होगी प्रोसेसिंग हेड नोट से स्टार्ट होगी मींस अब जो प्रिंटिंग होगी वो आएगी वैल्यू क्या आएगी फोर देन थ्री देन टू देन वन मींस वी हैव द वैल्यूज आर ऑटोमेटिकली इन्वर्टेड सो दिस इज द लॉजिक फॉर द इन्वर्जन ऑफ ए लिंग लिस्ट वी हैव टेड थ्री पॉइंट ए बी एंड सी ए इज इनिशलाइज विद नल वैल्यू बी इज इनिशलाइज विद द वैल्यू ऑफ द हेड नोट एड्रेस दैट कंटेन्स द हेड नोट एंड सी बिकम्स द नेक्स्ट ऑफ द नोट बी और जब तक बी नल नहीं हुआ तब तक हमें क्या क्या स्टेप किए थे हम अपने बी के नेक्स्ट फील्ड में प्रीवियस नोट जो ए था उसका एड्रेस स्टोर करते थे जिससे बी नोट ए से लिंक हो जाए मीन्स जहाँ जिस नोट पर बी पॉइंट कर रहा है वो इसके पहले वाले नोट से कनेक्ट हो जाए जहाँ ए पॉइंट कर रहा है और फिर ये तीन स्टेप हमने इसलिए लिखे हैं इक्वल टू बी बी इक्वल टू सी एंड सी इज इक्वल टू सी नेक्स्ट ओनली इफ सी इज नॉट नल these three steps move the pointer a b and c one step ahead now after coming out of the while loop means when b becomes null only the condition fails and we come out of this while loop and when we come out the while loop b and c both becomes null and a points to the last node and now this address of this last node is transferred to the head node so that this last node becomes the first node of the linked list now this is the program in c to convert the given linked list into the inverted linked list and the remaining portion is here uh, now i will see you i ye dekhiye main aapko ye program ka code to aapne dekh hi liya main isko run kara ke aapko dikhata hu ye humne connect kar rakha hai program ko okay abhi hamara borderland c se connect ho jayega ये स्क्रीन में आपके साथ शेयर कर देता हूं यहां से हम ओपन कर लेते हैं इनवर्जन ऑफ लिंग लिस्ट ओके सो दिस इज द प्रोग्राम दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर डेफिनेशन ऑफ द नोड नोड कंटेन्स टू फील्ड्स डेटा फील्ड एंड नेक्स्ट फील्ड सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द नोड एंड नाउ वी कम टू द मेन फंक्शन where there are three pointers a b and c and the fourth one is the head obviously which contains the value null initially and these uh, all these four pointers are of node type node node is the defined as defined here in the form of the structure this for loop generates a linked list as we have already seen in the lecture of uh, linked list creation this if uh, uh, in this loop रन एन टाइम्स वेर एन इज द नंबर ऑफ नोड अगर चार नोड है तो ये लूप चार बार चलेगा पहली बार चूंकि हेड नल होगा इनिशियली तो इफ एक ही बार रन करेगा पहली बार के लिए और बाकी के तीन बार ही एल्स रन करेगा और ये ऑलरेडी आपको डिस्क्राइब किया जा चुका है तो यहाँ मैं दोबारा नहीं बता रहा हूँ तो ये केवल ये लूप जब चलेगा तो ये हमारी लिंग लिस्ट क्रिएट हो जाएगी एंड आफ्टर क्रिएशन हेयर वी प्रिंट द एलिमेंट ऑफ द सिंपल लिंग लिस्ट मीन्स विदाउट इन वर्जन वी हैव प्रिंटेड आवर एग्जिस्टिंग लिंग लिस्ट ए को हेड से स्टार्ट करा लिया जब तक ए नल नहीं हो जाता तब तक हमने ए की डेटा वैल्यू को प्रिंट करते रहे और ए को फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन मूव करते रहे ए इज इक्वल टू ए रे नेक्स्ट तो ये जब चलेगा रन होगा प्रोग्राम तो ये आपके लिंग लिस्ट को प्रिंट कर देगा नाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंट वन इज दैट 
what is the logic of inversion it is already explained to you so i am not going to explain it uh, here again after execution of these steps the list uh, that is created above is gets inverted now we just print because we transfer head the value of the head node to the a a is just a pointer no of node type which is used to print the values of every node so we uh, we can take any pointer here a b c bas usko declare karna hoga aur jab tak a ki value null nahi ho jati aur a ki value kab null hogi jab last node ko bhi process kar lenge uske baad jab jump karega kyunki a ki next field mein null hoga तो ये हमने एक ही सारी डेटा वैल्यू को प्रिंट कराते रहे इसमें केवल यही लॉजिक जो था इन्वर्जन का यही इम्पोर्टेंट था बाकी चीजें तो हम लिंक लिस्ट में ऑलरेडी देख चुके हैं तो इस तरह से जब इसको एग्जीक्यूट कराएंगे ये स्क्रीन भी मैं आपके साथ शेयर करता हूं ये अब इसमें एंटर द नंबर ऑफ नोट हमने एंटर कर दिया सपोज करिए हमने फोर नोट ले लिया now enter the value of the new node suppose the value of node is 20 next node is 21 22 and then 23 now this is the uh, normal link list without inversion 20 21 22 and 23 but after inversion we get in reverse direction 23 22 21 and then 20 so you can visualize that how the list becomes inverted now we again come to our slides so this is all about the inversion of the link list i hope you like this lecture if you like please as like subscribe comment and share with your friends and please watch full video for clear understanding my channel name is easy learning with krishna so thank you thank you for watching if you have any comments uh, if you want to give any compliments or comments you can use this uh, email id kbd edu channel@gmail.com thank you